Hello and welcome back to Penwesken Farm on Bessie Beneath. So, it's now mid-summer, day four. Quite a few days have passed. Um, and the reason for that is I was trying to get the grass ready and it's taken, yeah, quite a while really. Um, just because of the fact we planted it late, obviously ploughed it, so it was behind pretty much all the other grass that you can see that's ready to harvest. Now, I don't think it's its darkest stage. It might be. I don't think it is. Uh, but it is good enough for me to start mowing this. Now, obviously, because it's midsummer day four, I don't really think I'm going to get two cuts. So I'm going to do one field for hay and one field for grass silage. I think we're just going to keep it simple. I am using the updated version of Maze Plus. So we've got Maze Plus 1.5, uh, which does offer quite a bit. So we will be going through that as and when we need it. Now, I am just trying to figure out what I'm doing here. There we go, temperature. So it is pretty good drying conditions for the next few days so we're going to definitely get one field of hay anyway which is good news and the other one is silage and if we do end up getting a second cut we'll probably do the same again but I think we're going to struggle now the reason we're standing here is I was going to show you that I have been selling some of the grain so every single bit of grain that I had apart from the barley because we're just going to top that up and sell it all together I have sold I've been paying off a bit of the loan with the money I generated but also what I've been doing is I bought a piece of kit that I thought would come in really handy, but in all honesty, I've been having trouble with it. So, got a bit of a mod conflict going on. I can't seem to figure out what mod it is that's causing the issue. Because when I go onto this map alone with just the mod, it works perfectly. So, obviously, I've got something going on. But we're going to go pick it up anyway, because I'm still going to try and use it and maybe get a different attachment on the back. So, before I explain exactly what it is, we're going to need to get the trailer out of the field that we've got the pallets of fertiliser on. Or the IBC, sorry. And uh, we can bring it back. And then we can uh, try and at least figure out the best route to go in regards to using this. So, let's swing this around. Now, the fields are at the point now where we'll be doing quite a bit of crop damage. So, we need to be careful. Uh, but we can have a quick look at the barley, as you can see, it's in a pretty good state, it's grown well, um, dark green now, so if we just quickly go here, you can see that the growth's pretty good, won't be long now, and all I need to do is do some fertiliser in that field, that's the only thing that's left, I've done all the herbicides, I've sprayed all the herbicide, got rid of the weeds, there is quite a few weeds popping up in the grass field, which we're going to be obviously, hopefully mowing today, as you can see it looks pretty good. That is, to me, that's 100% ready to start mowing this down. Yeah, so there's no more growth in this field. So we're definitely going to get through this today. At least mow it. Might do a bit of tedding on the other field. Depends if it's wet. I don't think it'll be wet. It is dry, so we could just leave it, really. Leave it in the field to dry. Maybe even windrow it up for the hay. Um, and the same for the silage. So I think we're going to be doing mowing in two fields and windrowing in two fields. That's going to be the aim of this video. So we can start making some food. Now with the addition of Maze Plus 1.5, there is so many things now we can put in the feed mixer. It really is pretty cool. Uh, there's also new types of feed types been added. So if we just quickly go in here, I'll be able to show you better. So you can see there's beet pulp silage now, um, BG silage, there's beet shreds. There's, there's so many things, but the main thing that I like is an additive that you can now add to your feed mixes. There is a maximum on that, but everything's at 0%, so you can pretty much mix and match. There's more freedom. The XML is easier to edit yourself and customise, uh, but there is probably a lot of things we need to go through to get a better understanding of it. So you can see that there's beet chips, mineral feed, um, power food, cheap food. All these are now added with the new Maze Plus update. Uh, we've got filtered water. I'm guessing that's like deionized or distilled water of some kind. Molasses in an IBC, um, which is, again, useful. I've always known molasses is in a block, like a block that the cows lick on uh, to maybe give them some bit of salt or sugar, depending on what kind of molasses it is. Uh, but, yeah, there is a lot of different types now. But the main thing I'm going to be using is this mineral feed. So I used to actually 
test this quite a lot in a job that I had working in a laboratory. It was a mineral feed. A lot of it is just for supplements, but also for deficiencies. So they add it to feed mix in this. So this is really common in the UK to add a mineral feed type in. Uh, a lot of the time they've got like high copper in, high uh, manganese. Um, it really just depends what type of mineral additive you're, you're obviously trying to buy. Because um, some animals affect differently to certain type of minerals, like sheep, for example. They really can't have copper. If you start giving them copper in their diet, then it can actually do them quite a bit of harm. So you do set, tend to see a mineral additive depending on what type of animal you've got, which is really useful. So a lot of farmers will add some type of mineral feed. And, and with the feed mixer, when we do eventually buy one, um, we can actually probably add a, at least a few bags of this to the mix. Um, and I think it'll uh, definitely add to the realism. And then we can obviously do many types of silage, uh, many types of feed as well so there is now a lot of possibilities um, let's just have a quick look at wrong one there we go you can actually probably see in here now the different types so you've got obviously CCM and all the other stuff that's standard alfalfa uh, clover silage whole crop silage but then you've got the beet chips you've got mineral feed which is the one I was just on about uh, power food which looks pretty cool as well. You've got the sheep food, horse food, chicken food, pig food, molasses, uh, beet pulp, beet pulp silage, beet shreds, potato shreds, uh, filtered water, brewer's grain, which you can buy, I believe, and you can also uh, you can put a, like a sell point down and you can buy it from there. Uh, BG silage, horse silage, horse hay, premium potatoes, which is obviously a different mod, but yeah. There is now so many different types of feed added with the uh, 1.5. Now, it does state that you probably should use a different save game. Now, I've been testing it out on this save game. I have backed it up, and I'm trying it out currently, and it seems to be fine. But I have got a backup just in case everything goes wrong. Um, and I'll probably keep, maybe, I'll keep that backup as a standard, but I'll probably keep backing up after this point as well, just in case I do have an issue and I can revert back to it. And if it all fails on this type of save game with the 1.5 added we can always revert back to the one that's uh, before the 1.5 but I would probably recommend trying it with a new save game but obviously with me doing a series it's really difficult for me to do that so I've kind of carried on really I'm excited for it there's obviously the compost as well we'll probably go through it at some point um, on different maps I mean I don't think it's on this map uh, but it's always a good option to have different types of feed, especially when it is pretty much realistic. You're not always stuck with the hay, silage, uh, and straw is, is uh, obviously the main focus. I'm probably going to just jump out of cab here so I can actually get a better view of what we're doing. There we go, we're all good. Because straw itself, uh, speaking about the feed types, I don't know many farmers that really put straw into a TMR mixer. Or a feed mixer. Uh, it's mainly used for bedding, from my experience. It might be completely different elsewhere. It's not just obviously my knowledge of farming, but I've always known straw to be the bedding. Um, I know sugar beets is quite common as well, so the beets is quite a common thing to add to a feed type. And uh, yeah, pretty good going. Now, I did want to take these IBCs off. I really did. Now, I'm hoping I might still be able to do this. Probably should have uh, dropped these off first. So, I'm trying to think the best way to take these off now or move them along. I'll tell you what I'll do is I'll get back, drop them off, and then we'll do this properly. Right, so there we go. Completely empty now, ready to actually do this properly. So, let's talk about what it is I've bought. So, I've bought the mower the really good mower that came out not long ago now i've had this mod for quite a while now on every playthrough i've had i've had an issue with the bagger at the back it just floats about acts a bit really well basically just crazy it really does um and i've never been able to figure out what mod it is that i'm conflicting with now i've always thought it might be manual attached but i've never had that on or something along them lines i've tried the manure system mod tried a few auto loading mods uh, but I've never found the solution and I have seen online a few other people saying the exact same thing as what I'm experiencing right here which is this so it's obviously just completely lost its marbles and yeah it just looks pretty crazy it doesn't connect at the back um, even if I connect this first and then put the 
actual mower at the bottom on. Now I don't know if it's got anything to do with like maybe green mowing or realistic mowing or one of them mods. But there's a couple. I have removed one of them, but not the other. So I am going to have to obviously mess about a bit with this just to try and get it fixed. But I think what I'll probably do in the meantime is try and use it. And there is another attachment that you can get. Because even that is still not working on its own. So it's not like it's the pipe or anything. It's the, it's the actual attachment. But if I go on to Best of Beneath and just have this mod installed, it works a treat. So it's definitely a conflict somewhere. Which is a shame because I've always wanted to use this since it came out. Um, but I've never been able to because I've always been put off by the fact that I can't have the bagger, which is for me probably the most important attachment. But I'm buying it anyway because I'm really determined to figure out what this issue is. So what I'm going to do is in the meantime I'm going to buy the other piece of kit that I can use. So let's just quickly do this. And if we go to, I think it might actually be in loading wagons. There it is. So we can get the lawn sweeper. And this one actually does connect and picks up everything that we drive over. There we go. So let's pull this up. We can actually, like I said, use this. So it is going to work. It's just not as good. And the fact that it doesn't even get up the ramp. There we go got there in the end so can I strap anything here probably not no it should hopefully hold fingers crossed yeah it's not gonna we'll have to just take a time as we drive back but I've always wanted like I said to use this mod I think it is a really good John Deere little ride on mower um, and it's such a shame that I can't seem to run it with other mods but what that mod is, I haven't got a clue. Let's turn it on, lower it down, if we can. I'm hoping that's on. It might be on. Nope. There we go. So now I'm hoping that this picks up, it does, so that's good then. So even though it's kind of being put out to the side which is my only issue with this uh, the mower kind of like sends it out to the right hand side and I'm obviously picking up from the rear and the uh, capacity of this isn't as good as well so that is a shame but I did just want to tidy up around the actual farm because there is a few spots that uh, definitely need a bit of a clean but yeah it's doing a good job it's getting stuck somewhere I don't know where but so far, it's doing exactly what I wanted to do, which was clean up. There is a few different types of mods, and if I can't get it fixed, um, I'll probably convert to a different mod that's uh, is working and compatible with a bit, you know, a few more mods than this is. There'll be one mod, and you won't expect it. It'll be like really strange, and you definitely wouldn't have thought it was going to be that mod that was causing me the issues. Yeah, just a little tidy up around the farm. It does make a massive difference. I've always thought that. But I've never I've never actually had some weird collisions on that. Look at that. Hmm, that is interesting. So maybe, even though this mod looks really good, maybe, in all fairness, it's just not uh, the best mod, if you know what I'm saying. So let's just quickly park it up about here. This should be fine. Um, and then we'll, we'll try and tidy up as best we can. So let's quickly just go and park this up somewhere. And then we can actually get some mowing done. I mean, this video's already gone on way too long than what I wanted it to. Because I am supposed to be mowing grass, doing a bit of silage, and also doing a bit of hay. So we might have to do the wrapping of the silage bales. And the... Um, hay bales, I'm probably going to do square we might have to do that in the next episode and we'll just get the grass prepared for this one there we go, parker up 
So I probably wouldn't say job done because, yeah, we've got some issues, haven't we? We need to get this sorted out. There'll be different ride-on mowers, and I think my best bet is just to go with a completely different type. Um, if anyone's got any recommendations of a nice ride-on mower, definitely put it in the comment section because I am after, um, yeah, pretty much a, a standout one, if there is any. Right, so after that setback, let's get cracking with some mowing. I do like this Cavernaland mower. It's been the first time I've used it on this uh, map, but I have used it a few times on different maps. It is pretty cool. Nice little mower, realistic to what you'd find on a British farm, but maybe not this model, um, but definitely that kind of style where it's hanging over the sides. So let's zoom out. We can get a better angle on this because it's quite wide. Let's try and swing it around just first, and I'll probably go around the edge as best I can to get a good idea of uh, still some bit of a headland. I think that's what we need. So we'll just unfold it out. I'll get my bearings and we'll get going, eh? If I can stick as close to the hedge as possible, this should do a good job. So as you can see, the grass that's coming out, that looks like a good yield already. Definitely will need a, a bit of windrow, and I haven't decided yet what field to do hay in or silage. I might stick to doing the bigger field as silage, which means that this field that we're in now is probably going to be for hay. Uh, but it's good, to, to, good speed as well, 30 miles an hour. We'll fly through this. That's a reasonable side field as, field as well, so it's not going to take too long. I have always liked the baling side of Farming Simulator. I think it's a standout thing to do, to be honest. That and slurry spreading. A bit strange when it comes to that, but I do enjoy the slurry spreading. And we have got quite a bit of slurry now. So after we've done the field work in this field, so after we've done all the mowing and the baling off, put them away, we might be able to get a bit of a slurry on the ground just in case we do get a second cut. It's, if we do get a second cut, it's probably not going to be... 100% growing, it might just be reduced amount like 67%. Yeah, but that's better than nothing because I would like to buy some more cows when the barley comes in. So I think that's going to be my next step. Pay, pay the loan off, which isn't that much now, and uh, we'll, we'll be getting some more cows definitely. So I'm probably going to go around maybe four times with this, then I'll start doing some up and down rows. I've left a good headland anyway. So I can't complain at that. And I always aim for the tyre. So if my right tyre is hanging off the edge, it should be good. Not miss bits, even though I've just missed bits. So let's reverse that one. There we go. It's quite difficult to... Uh, judge it on the corners but we should be fine here I mean this is not a bad mower size for the actual tractor that we've got and it's flying through it, it really is I might even do a bit of a time lapse first on this and then I'll probably do maybe a bit of a montage of me doing the Let's just swing it around. Yeah, I might do a montage of me doing a bit of mowing after uh, in the other field and then doing the windrowing. I think that'll make some good footage. But I won't just do it yet. Yeah, the corners aren't too easy when it comes to the turning of this mower. It might be easier to make an actual proper turn and pick it up, but we'll see how we get on because it's obviously going to get more difficult on the third headland and the fourth because the corners will become a bit more tighter but so far we're doing alright looks like we're getting a good amount of it anyway so it should tie us over and if we do get maybe an extra 20-25 cows depending on how much money we've got um, I think that should be alright there we go that was much better didn't miss hardly anything missed a bit there though Right.
Right, so I'm just on the fourth headland, just finishing it off. As you can see, I've taken quite a chunk out of the field. So we'll probably make an up and down pass in a minute, right down the middle. And we'll just try and tidy this bit up and level it out. There we go. I think that's fine. So let's lift it up. Um, and then I'm just trying to think best angle to take this from because I can't just try and go directly down the middle. I think that's going to be the best bet. Probably about here. Should be fine. You can see the patch just to the left there where I've missed uh, when it comes to uh, planting. I actually think that I cultivated it and then missed it whilst I was actually planting. It's probably because I did a course play montage and then sometimes the cornering on the course plays it can be a bit of an issue. Looks like honestly a good yield that is. That's just from the mow. The windrow should be quite tall. Now normally I'd like to lift up there but I think we can swing it round. If we go that direction you can swing it round and uh, yeah, get a good hit. I don't know what everyone's thinking of the uh, shader that I'm using, but when it comes to the grass, it, makes, it improves it so much. It really does look a lot better. Um, I, I am actually enjoying playing with a shader at the moment because I've always tried before, but I think the shaders that I was trying were a bit too demanding on my system at the time. I had, did have a different graphics card and I'm kind of upgraded to the 3, the three Series um, RTX, so oh, I think it's actually the second series, in fact. Oop, I don't want to go off. Still trying to get used to reversing with the steering wheel. It's the one thing I'm struggling with. I always naturally want to turn the opposite direction. There we go. We're on track anyway. Right, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to stick in a bit of a time lapse of me finishing off this field, and I might also start on the next field. So I'll cut back in when we've done all the mowing. So welcome back. I'm on the second field, done all the mowing in the first, I'm just on the third headland in the second field, and it's going pretty well. Decided to do a bit of in cab now that I know pretty much where I should be aiming. I'm hoping I don't miss any bits. So it's pretty pretty straightforward. So far so good anyway. So what I'm probably gonna do is after the time lapse now, I'm just gonna carry on, get this field all mowed up. 
I'll probably do a bit of a montage of me doing some windrowing and I might even get a bit of baling done so I think it's uh, better if I try and do a bit of baling in this episode instead of saving it all for the next we're going to have to probably wait until the grass dries out into hay anyway before we move over to doing that but I might be able to get some silage bales done that cow looks like that that grass is way too long for them cows they should probably start grazing that actually that's pretty interesting let's have a quick look at the cows just to see if they've actually got any fresh grass so they haven't which is a bit strange it really is strange got 40,000 litres of slurry probably what I'll do is when I actually get a mower a ride on mower I'm going to look for one in between this episode and the next when I get one sorted I might increase the capacity of the actual um, like bag on the back I don't even know what they're actually called like vacuum bag whatever it is on the back and I'll dump it into the feeding trough for the cows instead of it piling it up somewhere and uh, over time rotting away we may as well get some use out of it especially if they're not grazing off that grass and it also makes me think that maybe we should start mowing that if the cows aren't actually using that to graze on which is a little bit strange maybe we should actually just go ahead and mow it now I am going to probably do five headlands on this because I think it might make things a little bit easier for me I've missed a bit up there which is a shame I've also missed a bit down here so yeah what I'll do now is I'll stick in a montage and then I'll cut back in probably when I'm doing a bit of bailing so welcome back hopefully you enjoyed the montage so I've done all the baling 6,000 litre bales we've got a fair fair amount of bales in this field it really was a good yield off this one um, and I've just started wrapping them on the second one so hopefully it won't take too long this wrapper has got quite a long animation time so it is taking a bit of time to do but I have wrapped one and I'm on my second one so definitely a few more to go but what I'll do is I'll do these in between this episode and the next and then probably in the next episode if the hay is dried in the field or the grass is dried into hay should I say we can bale off that um, and then if not what we'll do is put these away um, I'm probably going to put them in a little storage area just over there I think that'll be a good spot for it but on that note I am going to leave the video there so thanks for watching hopefully you've enjoyed it if you have please give it a thumbs up that really does help my channel out and if you're new don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more videos just like this one on Farming Simulator.